staff, thank you so much for joining us today. Yesterday was an important day. It was a milestone in American history where finally a peace officer was convicted. So we believe we are alive that justice will be served because Black Lives Matter. We had to come together as a Goliath family. We had to um, let the world know that one, we're together, but also let our staff know that we care about each other. We're all human beings and we all deserve to be loved and cared for, especially by people who are there to protect and serve. It's important that people who do this work day in and day out have an opportunity to just come together and just take a breath. Take a breath, one that George Floyd couldn't take. So CSJ and the church felt it was important that we got together. So with that, the Reverend, His Eminency, uh, His Holiness, Minister Mark. One of the things that we know is that the verdict is not justice. The verdict is just one one part of a of an accountability that has to happen you know so we are not saying that now that he's been convicted everything can go back to normal normal is what got him killed it's really normal important that we understand that this is a part of a history of oppression and we need to always be ready for when it happens again. We keep fighting, hoping, dismantling, and working towards a future where black folks can be free without the fear of being killed by the police. But in the meantime, we stay ready. May is Asian American Pacific Islander History Month. It's also Mother's Day. It's also Memorial Day. It's also the one year anniversary of George Floyd's killing. We hold all of that here. And we can, we can celebrate it and we can acknowledge it and we can observe it all. And every Sunday, whether you are religious or not, we are a justice organization and a justice church. And we use and deploy art and spirit and culture in service of justice. So you're welcome always. Thank you all for coming out. Black Lives Matter.